My name is Claudia Munez. I'm an EXP Realty agent, and today I'm here with my favorite lender, Pinky Shaw from Fairway Mortgage. Um, she is a local lender in Monroe, New Jersey, so right in my wheelhouse area. And um, I brought her on today so we could talk about what to do if you have to buy a home right now, but you don't want to get locked into the current rates. So, Pinky, go ahead. Absolutely. Well, yeah, it's a good time, Claudia, right now. It's it's a little bit scary for folks, right? You guys have been seeing rates that have been much lower than what's going on right now. So understandable that there's a little bit of fear. And Claudia, with her level of expertise and I combined, we wanna to work together to help you figure out if it is in fact the right time and know that there's options. That's the key, right? There are options. So we can go through those. All right, let's start by kind of grounding ourselves on what's going on with rates. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and we're going to show you what's going on. And this is a resource that everybody can go to themselves. It's called Mortgage News Daily right up here. And they publish interest rates on a daily basis and they do a survey of what lenders are actually locking in. I would encourage folks to use this rather than going to some of those aggregate sites, which are actually advertising sites. This is not an advertising site. so. It's going to give a little bit more accurate information and not just trying to sell you things. So I personally like it better because I feel like it's more accurate. And, and Claudia, jump in if you have anything to add, of course, right? Yeah. Um, if you guys watch my market updates, you'll see that this is actually the resource where I um, pull the rates from to source them from to show everybody what's kind of going on at the time. So I definitely use this resource myself. Um, I find it like, like you said, it's a more unbiased opinion. It's not somebody trying to sell you something. So I definitely recommend people check out this source if they're trying to get educated on, on where things stand today. Excellent. Okay. And so let's look at the 30 year fixed, right? As of now, it's around a little over 7%. And if we click on it, it shows us what the trend has been. Trend's not pretty, right? Yeah, and it's, a steep <laughs> <incline>. <laughs> it's a steep incline. It's a steep incline. And so, you know, folks that may have been pre-approved back here in June and, and, and they're still looking for homes are going to see a massive difference in what they qualify for in this case. So what do we do about that, right? Is there a way to turn back the clock on interest rates? What would you think? If someone asked you that question, what would you think? I would think no, because, you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, but that's why I brought you in, because I know you have a solution here. <laughs> and you know, you're not the only one that thinks no, Claudia, right? Most people, and understandably, right, would say that no, we can't turn back the clock on interest rates. And so some folks may get scared because of that and say, well, no, I'm going to try and ride this thing out then and wait until they drop whenever they eventually drop possibly, or I'll just keep renting, right, in that case. And folks, I just want to remind you, if you keep renting, as high as 7% may seem, you're paying 100% right now. 100% is significantly higher than 7%. And the difference between three, four, whatever you saw initially to seven is much smaller than the difference between seven and 100. Fair point, right? That's another thing I went over in my last market update. The, the, because everybody, a lot of, unfortunately, the strategy of renting and waiting to see what happens with the market is not unique. So a lot of people have that idea and it's causing rental prices to go up. So even from month to month, the average rental in Middlesex County is up $100 a month. So, you know, the cool thing about owning is you have control over that, right? You don't have someone else dictating what that's going to be. A 30 year fixed rate mortgage. The reason it's called fixed rate is the principal and interest is fixed for 30 years. So you don't have to worry about somebody else coming in and saying you have to all of a sudden we're going to change the interest rate on you because it's fixed for 30 years. The taxes and insurance, they may go up a little bit, but typically not to the, you know, it's not the way that rent goes up. You don't have to worry about somebody giving you 60 day notice to move out because they are increasing the rent significantly. Right. So, so then how do we do this? Right. How do we do this now? A lot of folks think that, and Claudia, you can, confirm this, if this is what you're seeing with buyers, right? But some buyers think, okay, well, let's use a $400,000 home, for example, that, well, the payment's too high. So instead of offering 400, I'm going to maybe offer 375. 
and that'll make my payment more comfortable. And maybe then I can afford the home. Do you ever see people trying to say to do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I do occasionally see uh, actually sometimes even lower, you know, <laughs> local <laughs> offers uh, trying to use the interest rates for the work. And, you know, unfortunately, the reality is the inventory is still very low compared to what we see normally this time of year. And normally, I mean, pre-COVID times, you know, five years back. So, you know, there's still a lot of competition for homes, even though the rates have dropped some people out of the running. Absolutely. And so people think that it's a pricing issue then, right? Right. They think that if I could buy at a lower price point, maybe I could buy the home. So a lot of folks, industry-wide, you know, professionals and consumers think that the issue is pricing, but really the issue is affordability, right? It's because you want to make it more affordable that you're thinking about offering a lower price. So there is another solution to this though, that allows you to have a chance of actually winning the bid because as Claudia just said, inventory in some places is still tight. And, you know, and so you may not have the opportunity to actually win the home that you want if you try to do that. But there's another solution here, okay? And, and now the market is shifting a little bit, right? The market is shifting a little bit where you might have a little more negotiation than you did six months ago. Is that so yeah, that's another thing I cover in my market update videos. Um, Sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Um, so if you guys check that out, you'll see that um, now you can start to submit offers and get them accepted with your appraisal and inspection contingencies intact. You don't have to read them. And, um, you know, which gives you a lot more leverage in, as to entering the contract, knowing exactly what you're getting yourself into and not having to accept major defects with the home or major difference in appraisal value versus contract value. So it is a great time, you know, if you want to lock in a good pricing because sellers are becoming aware that affordability is an issue for, for buyers. Yeah, that's perfect. And so it sounds like, guys, if you have not already, you should go back and watch those videos. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about right now how you can turn back the clock on interest rate, okay? So we put this thing, uh, this analysis together for you to help you. Um, let's say, and these are hypothetical numbers because one, the rates are changing all the time. Two, your purchase price may be different and your down payment may be different. So as you look at this, please look at the concept of what we're talking about. And if you wanted to look at this specific for your situation, you can reach out to Claudia and myself and we can help, and, uh, help you evaluate it for yourself. So let's look at this option here, okay? So we're looking at if you were buying a $500,000 home with 10% down, which would mean you're borrowing $450,000 based on the rates that we just showed you a little earlier. We'll use 7% as our rate. I'll explain APR to you in a bit, but this is the number to focus on as far as affordability and payment. Okay. Um, and we assume the 30 year fixed rate, um, your total cash to close, including down payment, closing costs, and everything is here. But for now, let's focus our conversation on the monthly payments. Monthly payment would be about $43.29 in this case, and we have made assumptions on what taxes and insurance would be. So again, conceptually. So then you come over here and we're looking at what if you offered $4.75 on this same home instead in hopes of lowering your payment. So yes, you do lower your payment by about $200 in that case, okay? So that's good. But what if we tried something different, right? What if you went in and offered $500,000 on that home, but asked the seller for $10,000 in a concession? So what that means is the seller is going to give you money to help offset your closing costs. But we're going to take that money and temporarily buy down your interest rate, okay? So now the seller is more likely to accept your offer because they're going to get $490 for their home instead of you trying to offer $475, right? your interest rate in the first year is going to drop down to 5%, okay? So that means you see that payment is dropping about by $500. Now that should make it more affordable for you, right? And that if you're switching from either renting to buying, or if you're going from you know owning a home to maybe moving up, this should hopefully ease that transition for you. So it's called a 2-1 buy down. First and the two is because in the first year it gets the rate gets bought down by two percent. In the second year, the rate is down by one percent. So in this case, it would go up to six percent. And then in years three through thirty, it's at the current rate, which would be seven percent in this example. 
And so what that does is it gives you a chance to have predictable rate increases, right? It's not like all of a sudden me, your landlord decided that I needed some extra money. So I'm going to raise your rent, right? This is not arbitrary. It's very much planned and structured. It gives you the ability when you need it most, when you're buying a new home and you need money for other things and you're easing into payments to have a planned tiered approach. So two, one buy down is what that's called. And that's how we turn back the clock. So when it comes to making an offer on a home that you like, this would be presented as $500,000 with a $10,000 concession towards the closing cost. Exactly. That's simple. That's simple. And then we, as your lender, will do the other parts of it and we'll work together to get you the two one buy down. Yeah. And just to put in perspective, this last column here, your monthly payment, it's as if you were buying a home that was 400,000. So it's now making a $400,000 home with like a payment re in reach for you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And yeah. so everybody knows the average price for a home in Middlesex County is around 400,000. So at 500,000, you get in a nice house. <laughs> a there nice you go. Property there. Um, and then okay. the other piece of this, Claudia, if I could add. Yeah, of course. Is that you possibly may never get to that 7% rate because you can refinance, right? So you have the ability to refinance so that when the rates do come down, as they likely will, because we are in an inflationary period right now, and when we get into you know recessionary times, the rates will likely come down. So you're eligible to refinance after six months. And after that period, you and your lender should be watching the rates and hopefully your lender is watching for you. And then you can refinance the minute that it makes sense, you know, based on the, the cost and everything. So that's my expectation is that people that are taking advantage of this right now will probably never hit that final year three rate. That's really important to note because I know that, you know, it sounds great, but people are going to want to know what happens after the first two years. So that's, that's an important note there. This is why I like working with Pinky's team because Pinky is one of the only lenders that I've worked with that will actually take the time, sit down with you, walk through all of these numbers. She put together this general analysis just to show you how the program works. But if when you work with her, she'll sit down and go over what this translates based on your specific circumstances. So, you know, what your income is, your credit, you know, all those things that you would qualify for based on your finances. And she can help figure out a solution that makes sense for you. And if she if she says, hey, I don't think this makes sense for you, she'll tell you. You know, if it doesn't sure. make sense. And I will too. And that's why I think we make a great team here. Um, Absolutely. Agree. Anything yeah. else you, you want to mention about the program or? Well, the only thing I'll mention about the program and the, everything in general is that every person's situation is unique and there's no one size fits all. So, you know, definitely have a conversation. You know, Claudia and I, you know, we both love to educate our clients, help find the right fit for you because there's no one size fits all. So this may or may not be the right solution for you, but we can help find one that is. And so, you know, we'd love to have that conversation and give you the opportunity to uh, know what's best for you. And if it's not us for any reason, just make sure that whichever realtor lender that you're working with is in it to help you have your best outcome for yourself. And that's what their most important focus is. Yeah, makes sense. So um, if you guys want to schedule a meeting with Pinky to start the process of going over things, I'm going to put her contact information in the, link, uh, in the box below. And um, yeah, my contact information will be there as well. So if you want to get in touch with me and then, you know, we'll get the ball rolling on how this works. I'll send you to Pinky. You can get the ball rolling on the financing aspect. We'll, we'll be uh, rocking and rolling. Thanks for listening. Thanks right. for having me on, Claudia. Yes, thanks for being here, Pinky, and uh, we look forward to helping you guys get your dream home.